All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you know, I was uh, in the zoo, and uh, I uh, I made those animals watch the video of the Dean show, and they were really like surprised. I mean, they could not believe it. They were like, "What?" You know, there is a program. It's called the Dean Show, and actually, I have the video for you in the info. This is a video. Uh, the whole program, the whole TV station, is made for people who they have low IQ. I mean, I never saw stupid argument as their argument. And this is why I think it's really surprising. I mean, look at this, man. How long it took them to pr present this program? So they got the shake. At the, the beginning of the program, I, I wish I can play the, the video so we can die laughing. But, you know, they will uh, complain for copyright as usual. So in the beginning of the video, the guy, he says, Welcome, everybody, the one we will We are people who believe in one God, not a three in one. Like what? <laughs> you know, the most time they think if they say they believe in one God, that's make them like superior. First of all, you believe in one God, two God, three God. At the end of the day, the fact is your God is Fifi, is Fufu. Your God is a God who promised you women have no panties. How that can be God? I mean, you have one God. Okay, we got it. But one God, and he is the only God in the whole world who promised women have no panties. Not even Victoria's Secret. Who promised you an endless private part? I mean, what I would do with that endless private part? To get infected with coronavirus? Like, my, I am here and my private part in China? And then I receive a call from the Chinese authority saying, Chim, ho, he, ho, ho. Translation. Be aware that your private part was in touch with coronavirus in China. And we don't have a vaccine. Or imagine you live in America or you live in Australia or you live in Indonesia and your private part go all the way to the Amazon jungle in Brazil. And those crazy fish who eat anything in their way and your private pod go in the river and they start biting it i mean when they speak about their only one god you think that they have a god i mean your god is a crazy person man what kind of god this god is a god who promised me women she her her butt is one mile i mean i don't like women with one one mile butt to be honest with you i like them two miles so I can invite my friends to do hiking. We can make like this program, Japanese program, you know, like uh, they try to climb something and it's so soft they cannot, they feel in the water. Exactly, we will do that. I mean, we have one God, man. We are one, we believe in one God. I mean, your God is hilarious. He's idiot, foolish, low IQ. I mean, the word stupid is an insult to stupidity when it's come to Allah. And then the, they ask the sheikh, uh, shaky sheikh, how we can prove to somebody that the prophet is a prophet of Allah? He said there is a criteria. criteria what criteria? Uh, first of all, first of all, what? <clears throat> first of all, <clears throat> We will ask a question to this. If a person, he came to us and he said, I'm a prophet. We will ask him the first question. It's very easy to discover if he's a prophet or not. The first question will be, oh, the, what is the most important in your religion? If he did not say to worship Allah, he's a false prophet. If, 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 if. He have to say Allah. I mean, this is the way to know that he is a false prophet or not. Okay, hold on, you stupid idiot. Well, a false prophet, now he knew what you like the answer to be, so he will tell you Allah. I mean, is that a solution? He's a false prophet anyway. He can change the name of God as he wish. I mean, how silly, how stupid, how crazy, how low IQ. So you ask him a question, what is the most important in your religion? And if he say to you to worship Allah, that means he's a prophet. Are you sure? Well, a false prophet now, he will take your advice. A Muslim, they will ask him, what is the most important for you to worship? He will, he will say Allah. That's it, he's a prophet. <laughs> Second question. 
Who is the angel who come to you? Look at this deep question, man. If he gave us, and the, and the sheikh, he said, if he gave us a name other than Jibreel, he's a false prophet. <laughs> okay, well, he will give you the name of Jibreel. <laughs> I mean, man. This is the sheikh. <clears throat> so if you ask the guy who is the name of the angel who gave you the delivery, if he don't say Jibreel, that's me, he's a false prophet. Well, no, he will say Jibreel. He's a false prophet. Remember, he will change the name of the angel as you wish. Stupid. Secondly, when Muhammad received revelation from his God, the angel did not tell him, I am Jibreel. Right, Abdul? Let us switch to Arabic, sorry. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, you said that Quran, Allah say, is a rooster. You know, you Muslims, you misquote always what I say. Your God, Allah, is a rooster set in the top of a rooster. I will show you the hadith, just wait. Let us finish this one. Yeah, your God, because the one who sit in a rooster, he must be a rooster. What a crazy religion. I mean, what kind of prophet he says Allah is in a rooster? I mean, at least make him sit in a, a dog, bigger, a rooster. All right. Uh, if you see here with me in the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, uh, you will see the story of a person who came to Muhammad and he squeezed him three times until Muhammad he cannot breathe. And then he said to him, read. And the prophet, he says to him, I cannot read. And then he squeezed him again. And he said to him, read. And the prophet says, I cannot read and then he squeezed him again and he said to him read and then the prophet he says to him I do not know how to read I mean are you going to stop keep keep telling us the same thing for until tomorrow I mean what who is the stupid here in the story the angel or Muhammad I mean the angel don't he knew that Muhammad cannot read so what you are saying to him read however here we are showing this hadith to show you that the angel did not tell Muhammad that his name is Jibreel. Look what happened. Khadija, she took Muhammad from his panty, actually from his hand, sorry. And she took him to her cousin, or let us say, is a, like a kind of an uncle for her, an old person. His name is Waraqa, and he is the real father of Muhammad. She took him to, to this man, and she told him to tell Waraqa, read carefully. Khadija then occupied him to her cousin, Waraqa ibn Nawfal, Ibn Asad, Ibn Ibn, the, the, the son of Al-Uzza, the pagan. Ibn Qusay, Waraqa, the son of the paternal uncle, i.e. her father brother, who is during the pre-Islamic period became Nasara, not Christian, this is a lie, he's Nasara. He used to write the Arabic writing of, uh, 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 of the gospel in Arabic, that is the Quran, exactly. As much as Allah wished him, okay. He was an old man and he had lost his eyesight well he lost eyesight and he is writing Quran obviously the Quran is written already Khadija said to him oh my cousin listen to the story of your nephew Waraka said oh my nephew what what have you seen how he knew what he have seen the guy she just told him the story of your nephew she did not tell him he saw something then the Prophet described whatever he had seen Waraka uh, uh, he said, this is the same Namus, i.e. Jibreel. Okay, hold on. So Muhammad is the prophet. Jibreel squeezed Muhammad. Jibreel squeezed Muhammad first time. Muhammad did not get it. Jibreel squeezed Muhammad third time, second time. Muhammad did not get it. Jibreel squeezed Muhammad third time. Muhammad still did not get it. Muhammad go home, still did not get it. Muhammad speak to his wife, still did not get it. Muhammad, he covered himself with a blanket, he didn't get it. Muhammad is going crazy, he did not get it. And then Muhammad, he been taken by the wife to her cousin, and the cousin, after two seconds, he got it. He told him, this is Jibreel. <laughs> it took him two seconds. <laughs> You know, the prophet is the last one to know. 
the guy, the neighbor of the neighbor, the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of my cousin. I go to him, I tell him the story. Right away, he said to me, this is real. And the prophet of the prophet of the prophet of Allah, who been squeezed by the angel of Allah three times, still he did not get it. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like this before? So the idiot in the D show, when he said, we asked the prophet, what is the angel name he came to you? If he says Ibril, he is a true prophet. You are right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, they say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And then he said, and the second uh, uh, question we need to ask, or third question, or let us say, we need to search for motive. He said, if Muhammad is a false prophet, then there is a motive like money, women, uh, or maybe he heard voices, which means he's ill. This is what he said in the video. You can watch it. And the funny, they are saying that Muhammad, he is not after women. The guy, he have 13 wives and hundreds of six slaves. And the guy is not after women. Have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this? He said, let us see the motive. Maybe Muhammad after women? And then the conclusion, no way. Muhammad is not after women. He's after children. Six years old wife. Thirteen wives. And hundreds of sex slaves. And yet the conclusion that Muhammad is not after women. Not only that, Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran saying, any women she want to give herself to me. I am Muhammad Amimi. Is it enough all the women you have? You want more women to give themselves to who? Why? You are still single? Huh? Look, in the video they come with the conclusion that Muhammad is not after women, brother. Oh, Prophet. We made lawful for you, the wives. I mean, look at this genius God. He just made to Muhammad lawful the wives. The guy is having sex with those women for the last century. And just Allah now inform him that those wives are lawful. It's like you go into the restaurant, you eat McDonald, you drink Pepsi, you take uh, some sweet orange juice. And then when you then you go to the bathroom and then you do the poopoo. And after you finish the poopoo, Allah He speaks to you and He says, by the way, the food you ate in the restaurant is lawful for you. I made it lawful for you. Don't you think it's too late? The guy is already sleeping with them for the last century. Now you are telling him we made lawful for you, your wives. So before that date, Muhammad it was not getting the answer that they are lawful. And then, to you, you who you paid your dowry, and those whom the right hand process, hand hand process. Why he need the hand right right hand process to rape them? Why you do, CP? Do you regret wasting yourself doing this, uh, Islam Wahid? Why I want to regret? I made tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam. I'm very proud. It's you who will regret. One day you will go to heaven and they will take off your panty from you. You cannot enter the heaven with panty. It's pantless heaven. You have a pimp God and you are talking about regret. I mean, even if your God heaven is as you say, and if it's true, I mean, this is sick. This is disgusting. It's a pimp house. Secondly, as long you are saying you will regret, you know, wasting your time, your life. Why well, you are here, you idiot? You are regretting it too, because you are listening to the one who will regret his life. And you are coming and you call me and you listen to me. I mean, you must be a fool. You know what I mean? It's like going to somebody says to him, you are wasting your time and I'm listening to you wasting my time too. But you stay. This is why I say that Islam will make people low IQ immediately. It's automatic uh, transformation. I never saw someone who believed in Muhammad, he have a high IQ. Then, Allah, he made to Muhammad your right hand process. So why he was sleeping with the servants who they are not right hand process? As an example, Mary the Copt. 
that not a single verse in the Quran it says that women who they are servants, slaves, not from war, you can sleep with them. And the verse in front of you. Raja, don't you see me busy, my friend? I mean, all what you are worried about calling me in Skype, take it easy, my, my friend. And then the verses continue. And it's look, you know, it lawful for you, the cousin of your uh, uncle from your mother's side, and lawful for you, the uncle, the daughter from the uncle, your mother's side, that, that side, brother's side, brother's side. And then, and any woman, she offer herself to the prophet. And look at the translation. And any woman, believe in women who dictates her soul. <laughs> The guy, he have 13 wives, and he is making a verse saying, any woman she want to give herself to me, call me baby. I turn my head up and down, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all what I can see, Muhammad and women around, call me baby, call me Muhammad. He is single, he have 13 wives only. 13 wives only and he is uh, he is making verses claiming that god i mean what is the business what does this have to do with god what does this have to do with god what god is business with saying any woman she want to give herself to the prophet you tell me muhammad is desperate he cannot find a wife he have 13 wives already Allah is a, is a dating website trying to find a wife for Muhammad and the poor Muhammad nobody want to marry him like Christian prince maybe. The guy he have 13 wives. What this is about? And the funny in the video of the Dean show they say there is no way the motive of the prophet is women. Really? Are you sure? What this have to do with God? I challenge any Muslim to tell me what this have to do with God. Don't use bad language, guilty, otherwise we will ban your text, my friend. Nobody here is allowed to use, you see, we use the word panty, we use the word penis here because we are quoting things. This is part of the subject of the, of, of the study, but not because we want to speak filthy. So don't use the F word, don't, you know, be, be careful. <clears throat> Does it say that in Arabic, because if they are dictating their soul? No, it doesn't say dictating, it says wahabat nafsaha she offer herself the translator is an idiot lin nabi an yas tankihuha oh yes tankih yes tankih yani you know when when you do yes tankih you are ifing it's continue verb it's not a past tense it's continues yes tankih look how ugly even the word to not only to like if I in G. And not only that, look, the prophet is not after women. It says here, look how I mean look at look at the proof, he's not after women. It's a privilege only to thee. Not for the believers. I mean, do you see Muhammad is not he didn't have a motive? A privilege only for the prophet who have 13 wives and thousands or hundreds of women for sex. Uh, he have additional privilege that any woman she can give herself to the prophet. <laughs> and in the D show they are saying the prophet he have no motive for women. Even children he did not leave them alone. Six years old wife. And then they said, what about money? Money. Muhammad, he keep talking about money like Mimi Hijab, 24 hours. The first thing he go in the video, he hold the bottle in his hand. He brothers and sisters, buy this. Don't forget to buy this. This is very good for healthy. Take with it. Exactly. This guy, Mimi Hijab, he don't have the privilege to claim to be a prophet. Muhammad, he have it. So Mimi Hijab, he sell those, you know, I don't know what they are for. And Muhammad, the prophet, he do not need to say anything. Look what he say. Anyone want to speak to the prophet in a private, you have to pay him. 
You have to what? You have to pray him. Why we have to pay the prophet in order to speak to him? Here we go. I have 500. I just started. I have 500 people speaking to me. And nobody will, you know, I'm not asking anyone to pay me anything. It's a free. People come, people go. Hmm? Why? And the funny, this is a charity. This is a charity, my friend. Oh, who you believe. When you consult the messenger in private, spend something in a charity before your, before your private consultation. Imagine, guys, I am a doctor, and you are sick, and you cannot enter to me unless you spend something. Do you see it? The Muhammad, he made that he will take the best of the booty. He will have the fifth of the booty, and yet he have no interest in money. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Well, you know, first of all, you can say, let us say for the sake of argument, the Muslim will say to you, this is for charity. Hmm? And this is not for Muhammad. Okay, why you have to spend charity before you meet with Muhammad? What if the person don't have? Obviously, the one who needs to see Muhammad is not looking for a job. He is looking for advice. When you say such a thing, you are making it like, okay, it's a business. I can say the same. I can say, okay, guy, you want to listen to me? You want to listen to my videos? You have to spend charity. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I'm looking for something I cannot find. Where it goes. Man, oh, man. All right. <clears throat> did the messiah ask people to go and pay before they come and talk to him i mean you are just talking people coming to you don't you want to do dawah don't you want to praise god and invite people to islam talk to them you know, if you remember, when a poor man, he came to Muhammad. And he is a blind poor man. What Muhammad did? Abasa wa tawalla. What does that mean? Chapter 80, verse number 1. When the poor man, he came to him, he formed front and he turned away. What a shame. Because the man is a blind, poor man. If you read the interpretation for this story, you will find it says literally that Muhammad was speaking to the rich men of Quraysh. So Muhammad have time for the rich men of Quraysh, but he don't have time for the poor blind man. Hmm? And I change any Muslim to open the interpretation and read it. Actually, we can do it right now. <clears throat> Let us do it. Because Muslim, they might say, uh, it doesn't say that, ZB. Hmm? Let us open an Islamic website and laugh together. You know, you, when you are rich, everybody will come you. You are poor, you, you know. You are rich, you go to the hotel five stars, they say to you, they open the door for you, welcome sir. But if you are a person with dirty clothes, people will make fun of you, they will get you out of that, they will call security for you right away. Money talk, my friend. Money talk in the time of Muhammad, money talk in, the, in, in today, money, money, money talk always. And Muhammad, he is the same as those who work in five stars hotels. 
He's a businessman. Money talk. So a blind man came to him. Muhammad, he gave him a face. Why? Because he is a poor man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let us see. Oh. Read carefully. Please read carefully. This is the Muslim website. This is the Muslim books. This is Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to come down. Ibn Imu Maktoum, this is the blind man, who came to Muhammad during the time Muhammad is speaking to the highest people of Quraysh. And Muhammad, look, the reason why Muhammad did not talk to him, look at this. The guy first is a blind man. He didn't know what's happening, whatever it is. Not knowing that he was busy and dealing with someone else. Sign of an annoyance appeared in his in the face of the Prophet of uh, Message of Allah. Allah bless him, give him peace, because he is being repeatedly interrupted. He is said uh, in himself. Muhammad said in himself, look. Who said in himself, Muhammad, these are the chief, will say, his followers consist of only the blind and the lonely people and slaves. You see why he ignored him? Muhammad inside him, he said to himself, he tried to deny this man that he believed in him. He gave him a face. Why? Because he said to himself, oh, ah, now the chiefs of Quraysh, they are the rich ones, they will say, oh, look, look who come to his house asking for advice. Look who want to believe in him. The poor, the blind, the lowly people and slaves. Do you see it? That's not, my, that, that's not my words. So Muhammad, he gave the man a face to show the people of Quraysh that no, those are people don't belong to me. I have no idea who's this guy. And right away, Muhammad, when he gave a face for this person, even the chief, they noticed that Muhammad is a fraud. Because if you are claiming that you are coming from God and you are a person who is preaching about justice and etc., okay, the guy is a blind. Why you are making fun of him? Why you are giving him face? Imagine you are crossing the street and there is a rich man in the right side of you and he have eyes and there's a blind man in the left side of you and he's blind. Poor old man. The blind man asking you to help him to cross the street but you are talking to the rich man. Which one you will favor? If you are Muhammad, obviously you favor the rich man. And this is exactly what happened. Can we compare between what Jesus did to the blind man and what Muhammad did to the blind man? Who want to help me? What Jesus did to the blind man? When the blind man, he came to Jesus or he asked him something. Can we compare? Muhammad, he gave a face, ugly face to the blind man just because he's a poor man. He don't want to show that he knew him. Because he is speaking to the chief, speaking to the rich people, he denied knowing the blind man. Jesus, who is, we as a Christian, believe in him as God, not just a prophet. Not only he stopped to talk to the blind man. Not only giving him his time. And there's thousands of people who want to talk to him. Seeing his amazing miracles. The blind man is not even asking for advice from Jesus. He's asking to see. I mean, look at the request. The request itself is a crazy. I mean, how in the world I'm asking him to give me eyes? Unless this blind man, he have a very strong faith that this is the one who can make me see. So while Muhammad is busy with the money business, Speaking to the rich people, ignoring the blind man just because he's a blind, being afraid that he is being called, associating with the lowly as Muhammad called him. Look, this is the word of Muhammad, the lowly people. Do you remember when Jesus, he spoke to the, 
to the to the uh, tax collectors and the sinners. The Jews they said, hey, "Look, look, he's talking to who?" Jesus said, "I came for the sick." Do you see the difference? Muhammad is ashamed of speaking to the poor or the sick. Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. And yet in their stupid videos, they are trying to say that Muhammad is not after money not after women isn't it obvious isn't it this is obvious every words in their videos is a fraud low IQ stupid answers stupid logic and your logic is against you and then he said after he speak about Maybe Muhammad want money, maybe Muhammad want women, and supposedly they prove it that it's not true, which is absolutely, we get them busted. They said, and maybe Muhammad is hearing voices. Yes, Muhammad hear voices. And actually, the Quran and the, your story confirm that. Look at this, chapter 1, verse number 1. Muhammad, he get this chapter during the time he was doing poo-poo and he heard voices. Read carefully. This is the first chapter in the Quran. It says, The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace. Whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him. The, in the video, it says, Maybe Muhammad is hearing voices and he's like crazy. He's saying, like, Let us assume, assume, like, you know, he's trying to refute supposedly people, right? Well, you, oh, this is your book. Yes, Muhammad, your voices. And look what happened. When he heard the voice, what happened? And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Do you see it? He do what? He flee. Why he flee? Al-Fatiha is a verse supposedly revealed to him way after he became a prophet. So why he is a fleeing from the voice of Jibreel? He never heard the voice before? Do you see how easy to get busted every point they made it in their video? Yes, Muhammad hear voices. Not only Muhammad hear voices, he hear... I know, how in the world an angel want to talk to Muhammad when he is doing poo-poo? Whenever the guy he went out, what out where? In Arabic it says Baraza. Anytime he want to go out to do poo poo, the angel cannot wait until the guy that the day have 24 hours. The angel only want to talk to Muhammad when he's doing poo poo. Muhammad, he took off his panty, he sat down and he is uh, squeezing it, and suddenly he hear the voice saying, Muhammad. And Muhammad, who's this? Who's this? And he starts running. Why is running? Why is, why is afraid? The man is already the prophet of God. He spoke to the angel hundreds of times before. His, he did not recognize his voice or because it's dark and night and he's doing poo poo I mean come on angel wait until the prophet he wipe his ass and then you say to him Muhammad I mean, what is this and this is the prayer you pray five times a day it, it been delivered to Muhammad during the poo poo time And not only that, the hadith is all over confirming that Muhammad, he hear voices and he not only hear voices, he imagine things to the point even Muhammad, even his sex was fake. The Muslim, they say to us, once the prophet was bewitched, like what? You have a bewitched prophet? Bewitched what? Who bewitched the prophet? Who? 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 A prophet and he is bewitched. Okay, what happened? So he began to imagine that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not do like what? <laughs> but this is mean that we cannot trust Muhammad in any way, any mean. 
because maybe he imagined too that he saw Jibreel. Maybe he imagined that he's a prophet. The guy who imagined, not only that, even when he have sex, he is imagining. Look at this. Look at this hadith. Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, first had witness. She said, the prophet continued for such and such period. Imagine that he had boom boom with his wives, but in fact, he did not do it with the wives. Okay, he did it with who? Muhammad, he was imagining himself having sex with who? With the wives. But in reality, he was, because remember, this is not in a dream. This is not Muhammad going to sleep and then he saw a dream that he had sex. No. This is Muhammad is in a daytime. He lost his mind. He think he did have sex. So which means he have orgasm. But with who? If it was not with the wives, it was with who? Any Muslim knows? How this man can be a prophet of God? Even his sex is fake. Even his sex, there is no witness for it. Because there's no wives there. The guy who go outside, he says, Brother, I was right now with Aisha and I did a lot of boom boom. He said to him, You were with Aisha? Yes, in the house, brother. But Aisha is not there in the house. She, I saw her in her father's house. Okay. Um, well, I had sex, but I don't uh, look like it's not with Aisha. Then uh, maybe Hafsa. Oh, Hafsa too. She is with her. Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, uh, Sauda. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, you know, she is in vacation in Bahama. Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, who, who, the Prophet he did have sex with who? If he did not have sex with his wives, he have sex with who? Because what to confirm, he imagined himself having sex. Okay, the imagination happened with who? And even the hadith says, he imagined that he had sex with his wives. With who? With his wives. So the guy, he see the wives in the front of him. And he hold them and he kiss them. I'm not going to give more details. You know what I'm talking about. Because Prophet Muhammad is very holy. He don't have sex. He download sex. Oh do you know what happened during the time we witch? We don't know what happened here. I mean, this was, I mean, this bewitched thing is just a joke. Who believe in this bewitched thing? You see, in, in like in the Bible, speaking about the uh, uh, witches who do uh, because this is like if uh, they trick people, they lie to people, they are liars. But there's nothing is called really bewitching. Nobody can bewitch anyone. If people can bewitch anyone, I mean, if, if that is true, I mean, imagine you can control Trump and you can bewitch him and you can do whatever you want. Why the Muslims don't bewitch uh, Netanyahu? Hmm? Oh, go bewitch all the Jews and make them go and fly in the to leave Israel. Bewitch them. Uh, bewitch Israel, all the Israeli. And then you attack them and make them believe that they are fighting during the time they are sleeping. Control them, brother, by remote control. <clears throat> if you take such a statement about a person to the judge, the judge will not accept this person as a witness because it's proven that he is obviously illusionate and he is mentally ill. When I was in the army, uh, you know, uh, 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 I was doing my paper for release, you know, like when you finish your, you know, your uh, army thing. So there's like a center where people who they are in, in the process of discharge, they go to do their papers. And there was a guy, uh, uh, he, he said, uh, uh, so like we are waiting, you know, in our turn, talking. So he, he said, uh, uh, I am discharged. I said, oh, you finished your service. He said, no, they kicked me out. I said, why? Uh, I think, I don't know. I, they call it chapter, I forgot what the chapter, I think chapter 17. Uh, anyway, like which which is uh, uh, 
it's about like being mentally ill so he said I hear voices the guy he did not deny you know he said uh, I hear voices And I'm not making fun of him, by the way. But the guy is not claiming to be a prophet. Yeah, I think it was chapter 17. I remember he said chapter 17. So uh, he said to me, chapter 17. At the beginning, I didn't know really what chapter 17. So I said, so like, what is that? He said, I hear voices, you know, like, I said, like, you know, when you, you dream at night. Or, he said, no, no, like, uh, I will be like now talking to you. And suddenly uh, somebody's talking to me. I said, really? This happened to you? He said, yeah. And I agree, I should, you know, they should release me because uh, I can cause a lot of problems, you know. Because he suddenly he started talking to him. He talked to the person. You're like, he, he go in a conversation with the person because in, in his mind, he see and he hears somebody talking to him. And this is Muhammad. If, it, if if this person, which I really, uh, you know, I pray for his health, this soldier I met, he don't fit for serving as a soldier. How Muhammad fit to be a prophet when he is having the same illness? Right? <clears throat> Any Muslim have any ex explanation? So, what I'm trying to say to you to hear that when Muslim they make videos to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet, they make videos to condemn their prophet. Their videos is the best tool to make fun of Muhammad. Because Muhammad, yes, he is about women. Muhammad, yes, is nothing but about money and sex. And Muhammad is, yes, not ab nothing but about power. And Muhammad, obviously, is mentally ill in the top of that. Not only that, actually the hadith confirmed that Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide many times. I mean, how how many proofs we need to prove that Muhammad is a ment mentally ill? Why somebody want to commit suicide? Because according to the hadith, uh, no more Quran is coming. You see the hadith here? It says, this is Sahih Bukhari, that we heard that the messenger of Allah became so sad when Warakh ibn Nufal died and the divine inspiration stopped. So he became so sad and as we heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains and every time he went to the top of the mountain again he hear chapter 17 voices. You see it? You hear voices and the guy is obviously crazy he want to commit suicide why Muhammad want to commit suicide give me a reason a believer a true believer will not commit suicide you see the Muslim they say to you to you, uh, Jesus he commits that's, that's false Jesus not commit suicide Jesus was been taken to the cross killed in the cross he did not take a knife he did not jump from the top of the mountain why you lie? How a believer of God, follower of God, he is going to go and commit suicide. And even when Muhammad, he saw an angel in the corner of his room, supposedly it's an angel, he told his wife about it. She said to him, okay, next time you see him, tell me my cousin. So he saw him. He told her he is here in the corner. The wife, she cannot see him. Only Muhammad can see him. Obviously, he's crazy. And then she, she asked him to sit in the top of her right leg. She said to him, do you see him? He said, no. She asked him to sit in the other one. Do you see him? Sorry, he said, yes. Uh, do you see him? He said, yes. And then she, she took off and she, she asked him to sit in the top of her. She took off her clothes or her cover and 
she asked him to sit in the top of her like which means they want to have sex and then she said to him do you see him he said no she's the glory to Allah this is an angel and the Muslim they say the reason the angel disappeared because he is shy I said okay hold on if this is the way to know if it's an angel or not oh what Khadija need to do take off your panty what this is one right leg and left leg and take off and sit down on top of me just go to business go to the bed start doing boom boom if the angel if he's an angel he will leave there's no need for left leg and and since when this is how you can discover this is angel of God or not and the funny Muhammad he said that if you hear the rooster he saw an angel if you hear the the, the bearing of a donkey he saw a, a shaitan which means shaitan it mean donkey is more qualified to recognize angels from Muhammad You believe it? Read it. Abu Huraira reported the message of Allah saying, When you listen to the crowing of the cock, ask Allah for his favor as it sees an angel. Here we go. Chicken can see angels. Muhammad, he cannot recognize this is an angel or not. A chicken pop, 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 can recognize angel. Muhammad cannot. Muhammad he came the angel came to him he squeezed him physically three times talk to him say Muhammad do not know this guy a chicken right away will know this is an angel and even a donkey look donkey he recognized shaitan chicken recognize angel which means obviously donkey he recognize angel too because if he can recognize shaitan well whatever else is going to be an angel And yet they are saying to us, Muhammad is not a false prophet. What do you want more? Actually, this statement alone is enough to know that Muhammad is mentally ill. What kind of a prophet he want to tell us that is a donkey? Donkey is sent by God to recognize, and rooster sent by God to recognize angels, and yet. Prophets cannot recognize angels. Uh, Peter, I'm not. I'm not a priest, my friend. I am not a priest, and don't ask those silly questions here. Otherwise, we will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Paid by Amazon. Thank God I am not a priest because if I'm a priest, I was going to be a problem. How I'm going to speak about this cult? A priest would be shy. How I'm going to tell people it says here penis, there it says vagina, there it says her ass. How I'm going to read this? A priest, he cannot do that. A priest, the church will fire me second day. They will not understand that I'm reading the, about the, the the garbage of Muhammad. They will say we cannot say we cannot speak such a language, you know. Yeah, I agree with them, but we have to we have to deliver the image as it is, so people they see how ugly it is. We cannot sugarcoat the cult. We are sick of sugarcoating. Everybody is sugarcoating Islam. Everybody, Christians, Jews, everybody, because nobody is brave to say the truth. Right? I don't care what people say about me. I say the word uh, vagina. It says vagina. In the, in the front of me, it says vagina. What I will call it? Zucchini? <laughs> I mean, what I will call it? I open the Quran. I find that there is a God promising me that I will have a woman. And this woman, she have a garage. They call it vagina. And nobody park his private part there. This is what the Quran is saying. What do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you want me to say?
Hey, brother, we have to be polite, brother. And no, we don't have to be polite because polite here about being hypocrite and liar. This is not about being polite. This is about you trying to cover up the truth so people will not know what is written there by under the excuse of being polite. Look at this old translation. Hmm? Polite? What polite? This is not polite. A teacher should say what it says there, not something else. That's not polite. That's, that's corruption. If you hide what it says there, from what it is exactly, you are being a person of corrupt. <clears throat> anyway, we are not going to keep you long. Today, actually, I'm a little bit tired because I went to the seven heavens in the top of a flying donkey. True story. A donkey come to my house. He knocked at my door. And the donkey was, by the way, was a female. Her name is Al-Buraq. And I told Al-Buraq, where are we going? She said, jump in the top of me, you idiot. Now, we jump in the top of Al-Buraq. And then Al-Buraq, he came. And then Zibril came. And then we went to the seven heaven. And when we arrived to the seven heaven, brother, there's a door. And then the angel Zibril... He screamed from behind the door. He said, open the door, open the door. The one behind the door says, who is this? Because there, there is no security camera, brother. They don't know who's behind the door. And they don't have like a hole to look from the eye. No, he cannot see that. So who is this? Zibril. He said, I'm Zibril. He said, oh, you are Zibril. Who is with you? Look, they heard, they heard the voice of prophet. Huh? You see, they are smart angels too. Who is with you? They said, he said to them, Muhammad. The angels of Allah do not know who is with Jibreel and they do not know who is Jibreel. So they are asking, who are you? I thought Jibreel is the highest. Imagine you have the head of the army of Allah coming to the door and nobody knows who is he. Who are you? And this is the same story repeated seven times in seven doors. Seven doors. The heaven have seven doors. Hmm. And each time they ask the same question, who is there? Who is with you? He's welcome. Is he being called? <laughs> hilarious story. Hilarious story fit for children. And then Jibreel, he took him all the way and then he arrived to a place. It's called Sudratul Muntaha. Sudratul Muntaha, brother is the airport of Allah. Nobody can pass that point. Even Jibreel himself cannot pass that point. If, 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 if. Why is that? Because that's it, brother. And what he found there in Sudrat al-Muntaha, brother, he found four rivers. What four rivers is there? Next to Allah house, there is four river under the tree. And the tree is so huge, brother. Very big, very big. You walk in the it for 100 years by camel. What he found there? Anyone remember what he found there? Look, even Muhammad, he mentioned that this is where the airport of Allah. Surat al-Muntaha is where people come from down and go down, like go up to it and go down from it. It's an airport, exactly. Huh? But what he found there, brother? He found four rivers. Really? Yes, brother. Muhammad, he is the first one who joined Discovery Channel. He found uh, 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 the Euphrates River. Euphrates River, yes, brother. Muhammad, he discovered that Euphrates River and Nile River, they are river from the heaven of Allah in the seven galaxy. Isn't this enough to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet? Look at this, how he knew this. How Muhammad, he knew that the Nile River 
and Euphrates, both of them coming from under one tree. The Euphrates is a river in the in the in the south of uh, Turkey today, and the Nile is coming from the middle of Africa. How those two rivers coming from one place? And both of them they are coming from under the tree of Allah. And the tree of Allah in the seven galaxies behind the seven seas, behind the seven sky. What is this? This is science, brother. How the Prophet he knew this? How he knew this? There is no way if the Prophet is not, if he's the Prophet, there is no way he would know this. You have to be genius to know this. You have to have telescope and blab and blask. Actually, I believe Muhammad he did not discover this by telescope. He discovered by Scooby Scooby Doo. Muhammad he took the flying donkey and then he met with the Scooby 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 Doo. Muhammad he asked hey, Scooby Scooby. Uh, where the Nile River and the Euphrates coming from? So Scooby Scooby Doo, he said, uh, let me Scooby Scooby for you. It's coming from the, under the tree of Allah, Scooby Scooby Doo. I mean, if this is not alone enough to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet, what, is, what, what do you want more? Huh? What do you want more? Be honest, be honest with me. You Christians are really crazy. You should convert, convert to Islam right away. Imagine if science discover that Euphrates River and the Nile River coming from a from a tree and exist in the seven galaxy behind the sky, the Muslim they will make billion video about it. But because this is garbage, they they don't talk about it at all. It's not only river in Jinnah, there are rivers and there are Nile River and Euphrates River. And Sihan and Jihan, those are rivers in Turkey. What does this have to do with this? As you see. We challenge any Muslim who claim in any way, any mean that Muhammad is a prophet. Not only will you destroy your claim, but by the way, if I talk to you, I will talk to you nicely as long as you are being a nice person. I don't go, uh, let us say, aggressive with people unless they, 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 ask him, they are asking for it, to, to make it simple. But you Muslims cannot stand the truth that obviously Muhammad is a fraud. This is a fraud. This is cannot be from God. This is cannot be from God. We do not need to be genius to know. I'm not going to keep you long. I hope you I hope today, I mean. Uh, all of you have a good time with your family. Uh, I hope that uh, tomorrow will be a good day for you. Like uh, Already it's Saturday in Asia, right? I hope you guys will enjoy your Saturday. And I hope you always enjoy the gift of God, which is a brain. You see, if we don't use our brain, anyone can fool us. And this is, how, this is the only way for Islam to, to conquer our brain, if we don't use our brain. Islam is the most stupid cult ever can exist. Period. I never saw, like they said to me, like, I mean, you you always debate Muslim, you win. I said, no, I don't. Yes, this is stupid. This is stupid religion, my friend. You do not need to be a genius to prove it's stupid. I mean, I'm not debating about a nuclear. I'm debating about a guy who believes shaitan take care of from the anus of a Muslim. And you are asking me why I win the debate? I mean, the guy they are defending is officially stupid. Which means whoever defend him, he will look stupid. This is a stupid, this is the most stupid, how in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage? Shaitan take care from your anus? Why? And why Shaitan is targeting the Muslim brother? And does that mean that Mimi Hijab now his anus is bold? Because shaitan, he take five times a day here from his anus. 
Do you feel it, Abdul? Do you feel it really? Do you really feel that somebody taking hair from your anus when you pray? Because if you don't feel that Muhammad is a liar. Because he said he will keep pulling hair until he make you fart and he hear it and he smell it. Do you fart really when you pray? Do you feel there is somebody taking hair from your anus? What is this? Have you ever heard of a prophet he say that when you pray you call for Allah, Shaitan he fought. I mean what this can they're talking about? Is is that a is that a prophet who been sent for 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 children in the age of 2 years old? Is that a knowledge of a prophet about farting? Shall we open a lecturer in the United Nations? Prophet Muhammad today is lecturing about farting. And we will make it a global warming proving to be true. Because farting, by the way, is the reason for a global warming. Because of shaitan, he fought. Each time a Muslim, he pray. We have a billion Muslims. So you can imagine how much uh, farting we have a day. This is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, stupidity is what? What's wrong with people? Lord have mercy. Ronald Smith, you are a Muslim? Ronald Smith? No, my Skype is not open. Are you are you a Muslim, Ronald Smith? What, do you want to call me about what? Do you want to tell me how, how Shaitan he fought? Do you have a recording of Shaitan who was farting? No, I'm not taking calls today, you know. So I don't feel talking to anyone. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, guys. As you see. You do not need really to be a genius to discover that this is a stupid cult. You have to be a certified idiot to believe in such a garbage. Literally. And I don't care really if you are you want to stay as a believer, you don't want to stay, this is your business. But I mean, eh, the world is in front of you. This is cannot be from God. Cannot be who how Muhammad he knew this God told him. God sent his angels to tell a secret to Muhammad. What is a secret? Shaitan he fought. You believe it? <laughs> God, he told you, hey Zabriel, come on, Zabriel, come here. I want you, Zabriel, I am Allah. I want you, Zabriel, light. Allah, he decided to send the Prophet Zabriel to the Prophet Muhammad. And he told him, I want you to deliver an important message. Zabriel, he took the third thing. And he didn't want to do the house of the Prophet. And then when the Bril, he came to the house of the Prophet, he told him, Prophet was asleep. And he was like, what the heck? It's very late. He opened the door. And then he found the Bril in front of him. Prophet of Allah, he said to him, the Bril, why are you recording me right now? The Bril, he said, very important message. I have delivery for you. And he told him, that each time, I would let him pray, Shaitan hit you to farting. And this is how the prophet discovered global warming with you. The first one who discovered global warming. Proven scientifically. And please don't forget to open your umbrella. This is message from Jibreel sent by Allah. And Allah sent a message to Muhammad. Tell him shaitan he fought. I mean what kind of God this God is? We should add this uh, hadith in the Quran. We call it the chapter of 40. This is God. I mean, what's wrong with people? What, what, what people do eat? What, what they eat? What they drink? What's happened? The brain frozen? If this is a prophet of God, who are you then? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you?
That is the truth. And this is what we are trying to deliver to people. That this is a foolish man. Very, very foolish. Sadly, you know, he came in a perfect time where the Persian, they were destroyed, fighting with the Roman for more than 300 years. Both army are so weak. Perfect time to spread, take over. A foolish man. A foolish, savage person. Conquer. And now we are paying the price. How a crazy human being can be. How silly. How stupid. How disappointing. Sometimes chickens have a brain better than a human being. Now we can count endless things about this filthy sex maniac, Muhammad. Anyway, we will not keep you for long. And I, me, myself, I'm really tired today. Uh, I hope tomorrow I will go live on Earth again too. Mostly we will do. And maybe tomorrow we can take phone calls from Christians because it is weekend, right? So to tomorrow, the one who would like to call us from Christians, because we take calls from Muslims all week, you know. So we decide to take, uh, we take only Muslims, you know, during the week. But uh, lately, you know, Christians, they request, re re request, and I agree with that, they are right. So uh, in the weekend, we will take calls from Christians who like to call us. And we will see what the topic will be about tomorrow. And you know, uh, uh, if there is a certain topic to talk about, not necessarily about the stupidity of Islam, because sometimes, you know, we are sick of it, right? Sometimes we need a break, uh, break to talk about something good. And God is good, my friend. God is good. God is good for he, you know, he, he made me. He made me have a brain. God is good for he did not make me a fool. God is good that I am healthy when my brain is healthy, not necessarily with my body. God is good when the truth will set you free. God is good, my friend. This is why he's holy and his heaven is holy, not full of virgins and women have no panties. God is good, my friend, for he made you love even your enemy. God is good that he placed mercy and love in your heart, not enmity and, 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 and ugliness. God is good for he made us all of us family even though we never met we do not know each other god is good he made a human being he feel for a human being even if you don't know him god is good he made the mother cry for her baby even if he's the baby one day will deny his mother yet she love him god is good for he made us something amazing why you want to destroy the amazing creation of god by following a filthy creature a, a devil a satanic person, his name is Muhammad. For God is good, I refuse Islam. For God is good, I accept Jesus. For God is good, I love my enemy. For God is good, I believe in one man, marrying one woman, not four. We are not the chickens and goats. That is my Lord. Who is yours, Muslims? You have a shameful God who taught you to beat your wife. While my Lord, he says, the man, he leave his family and he will be came with his wife, Echad, one. Unity. That is my God. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, feel free to download my videos share it with your friends and may the lord give you all the blessing to you and your family and your children and whoever you care for and we pray for the poor before the rich we pray for the sick before the healthy we pray for the one who hate us even though he hate us so he might see the truth and the truth will set him free we pray in the name of the lord and by him everything was created and everything created for him yet he loves us Yet he gave himself for us, and yet he is coming back just to save us. That is our Lord. For his name is a glory, and his name is good, and good is God. 
See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.